Hey, people, it's always the mob here, and welcome to episode four of Rocket Power Beach Bandits for the GBA. Last time, we got the grappling hook from the arcade, and we went to Mondo Mountain, and we stopped Gollum Sr., who, gasped, was a robot the entire time, and we learned that the real mastermind behind this was Gollum Jr. So anyways, we're going to try to stop him by talking to Lars first. Not Eric Punk has one last game. If you don't win there, we'll, there will be nothing left of Ocean Shores. Okay, let's get going. Yeah, we're pretty much right there, so let's get moving. Okay, talk to Conroy. Hey, man, that little tired Aaron Gollum is looking for you again. He's down at the arcade. Oh, no. Sorry. Doing, using the right trigger by accident. The Shore Shack will close for good if you don't stop Eric quickly. He's at the arcade. Tito, Tito, what do you say? The robots are taking over everything. I don't know how long we can hold them off. Go find Eric. Stick to the roof. Yeah, when I first played this game, I thought that this was going to be the final confrontation. Just playing an arcade game. And I was like, okay, cool. We don't have to do anything. Just go to the arcade. But nope, nope. Alas, the game isn't that kind to us. You'll see when we get to the arcade. But first, let's see if there's any rockets on the roof. See if we can get those 10 lives, the legendary 10 lives. Come on. Going, going. Roof time. Yeah, but this game is moving by pretty fast. I mean, we're almost done. Once we get through this, this will actually be the last episode. This will be the finale. So yeah, pretty short Let's Play. It's going to actually be tied with Machinarium for my short series. Ah, uh, there you are, Rocket Boys. You dare challenge me again? It's these Ocean Shores is on the line this time. Go ahead if you think you can win. I know you're behind everything, and once I find Officer Shirley, you're going down, Eric Gollum. Oh, boo-hoo! The big bad Rocky kids are going to stab me. I don't think so! Are you going to play the game, or are you just going to talk, Rocket Loser? You're on, Gollum, and FYI, I could just beat you over the head with my scooter that has killed countless of your machines. Why don't we just... him with the scooter? Welcome back! We added one last game! Collect more stars than Eric Gollum Jr. in the Rocket Board Challenge. So yes, we have the last door. This is of course an auto mini game. Where we have to basically just go through, we have to basically just constantly move about. Yeah. Just it's all chance really of where the balloons are gonna pop out. No no no. Uh, yeah, get ready to hear that. Come on, I'm just trying to get the balloons. Yeah, but this one can be pretty tough. Okay, got that. Okay, got another one. No, no, no! Yes! Did it, first try! That was another May game that just screwed me over so badly. I don't believe my transistors! You beat Eric Gollum Jr. at his final game! Here's your rocket board! I have a feeling you'll need it! Though, in all honesty, you don't need it. You don't need the rocket board, no! I almost forgot to show the password. Eric Collum Sr. is a robot! He's a robot! Squidward robots are taking over Gollum Industries! Not Gollum Industries! <laughs> Anyways, here's your password. Anyways, yeah, you can basically just turbocharge out. Attention, lovely citizens of Ocean Shores! The time has come to reveal myself on my TikTok! 
TikTok has come. I am the true master of my Gollum energies. I'm afraid my father was just another robot created to do my dirty work. As for you, Team Rocket Power, all you've done is make me angry. Now you will pay the ultimate price beyond the end of your town. If I can't have it, no one will. More. <laughs> Ta ta, losers. What? Wisdom do you have for us? What the? Why wasn't I allowed to move? I guess only Twister and his skate, his scooter of power can move. What you got? What wisdom do you have for us, Tito? As the ancient Hawaiians say, when life gives you coconuts, destroy the man behind the monkey. Hey, man, this is not good. That tyrant must be stopped. Eric, Eric's gone to international waters. That's out of my jurisdiction. Only you can stop him now. Only you can stop his doomsday device. I, I kind of think a doomsday device that he's using to flatten your town under a giant tidal wave constitutes just going after him. I, Eddie, Prince of the Netherworld, command you to thwart Eric's plan of apocalypse. Why are you waiting for? Go to Eric to destroy the town! You're the only hope we've got left, buddy. I know you can do it. Go to Eric go. This is our last chance to save Ocean Shores and stop him! I'll simply them and I will provide you more support while you do all the work! There's a summary at the end of the pier. Go find Eric's headquarters before he destroys Ocean Shores! Jeez, I think that little dude means business. You better stop him. Don't kick him out. Uh, don't just hate when you get a hair in your mouth and you, and you can't, but you can't get it out. Anyways, submarine time. Only vehicle that you do that you use that isn't well a skateboard or like. Anyways, you control it by simply using the A button. Use the A button to go up. Just don't hold it to go down. It'll naturally go down. And press the R button to fire torpedoes. Very good if I do say so myself. So, anyways, let's go around. Yeah, you can just simply do that. Grab some rockets. You're not going to be leaving the sub, so just go down. Don't worry. The sub has the same standard health that... Ow! Okay, apparently it does not. You take two hits from the... The mines instead of one. Okay, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry, uh, like I said, I just did not dedicate a lot of memorization to this game. Because, well, it's Rocket Power Beach Pants for the Game Boy Advance. You think I'm going to be going all out, learning facts, learning statistics about this game? Okay, we're moving along. Okay, more burrito. More Tito's burrito. Why do we even need a submarine? We can just go under the sea and stop them ourselves. Okay, we're going down the right way. Yeah! Woo, more, more stalactites. Ugh. Ugh. Really? Come on, how are you supposed to get around that? And just the beauty. You can't see where you're going, so you have to basically lightly tap. There's our first checkpoint, though, so that's good. Yeah, we can't get 10 rockets! Yeah, take that shark bot! Going down... And that, it's trash can underwater! Why? Why underwater trash can? Come on, fire! Can't fire only A button, apparently. Yeah, we apparently have the max life total. You can't have more than nine rockets. Or is it one of those games that basically you can't... Where you could have more than nine lives, but it just won't display the ten. Because apparently the ten is too powerful for the system to handle. Fire, fire, fire! Going down some more... Yeah, it's kind of strange seeing the shark bot in multiple, the shark bots in more than one level. I mean, because really, in the console version of the game, they're only present in the lakes area. But here, they're actually present underwater, which is actually kind of cool, if I do say so myself. But yeah, like I said, just. 
the console versions end of game I prefer a lot better just because it is more or less like a nice victory lap even though it more or less just consists of hold down the square button to win really just because you're going around because Eric Gom Jr. in the final round of the console version just all he does is just it's a race against him so naturally you're you can just not you can outspeed him and oh I can barely speak right now it's just this area is kind of dull you're more or less just go down the submarine don't get hit by stuff just I couldn't make the classic we all live in a yellow submarine joke and okay and I died okay and you do not keep your lives hooray thank you game thank you I'm like oh like, this area is not that this area is on the dull side why do I even have my iPad on? I'm not going to basically split this episode into multiple parts. I'm basically just going to go through, kind of complete the game, and it's all, it's going to be fun. It's going to be over, and we're going to have Rocket Power Beach Bandits for the Game Boy Advance. All played. It will be present. Okay. Yeah, it's just that moment when you realize that you're just going to have a channel history with Rocket Power Beach Bandits of all games. Like I said, it's a the Rocket Power Beach Band game, the console version of the game, got me through a lot of tough times. It was basically just the OSD was one of those things where it's like, you know, things are gonna be fine. Things are gonna be fine. Particularly the forced maze theme. Where it's like that do 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 music. You know, where it's basically like a mission impossible. You're going to the lakes. No, not this time, Mr. Shark. Okay, going up. And there we go! There's another red rocket for you, nice and easy. Yeah, we recovered that life. Going up. That mine blows up. Get a Tito milkshake under the sea. Because apparently Tito is placing these milkshakes and burritos under the ocean. Tito is the hidden final boss of the game. You have to fight Tito while he, at, right after he drank a whole quart of those milkshakes. Anyways, we're almost there. Just, we're pretty much right in the area. Yeah, we have to actually deal with an underwater base. I love how they don't even specify that it's a tidal wave machine in this version of the game. They just like, oh, Eric Gollum Jr. is going to destroy the town. How? How is he going to destroy the town? How is he going to destroy this town? They don't specify. They don't give any specifications. Okay, hey, we made it to the end. Yes, our submarine is here for our use. Okay, going around. Oh, I think. Ah, what? What was hitting me? Oh, oh, those spikes. Those spikes were what's hitting me. Like I said, rule of thumb, if you can just keep going to the right or to the left, just go. Pull that lever. Going up. Yeah, like I said, just Twister is so overpowered in this game, it's not even funny. And I think that, no, that wasn't the guy, that wasn't the guy. Because, yeah. Okay, going around. I'm not going to spoil it before we see it. No, wait, what, what am I even hiding? I was just going to say that we're going to see the ninja enemies that we saw in the first, in the console Beach Bandits game here. Though they're actually a threat this time around. Okay, this is actually the only time in the game where I will use ro auto rocket. Boom, there we go. Now let's shut up. Oh, right, right. Ah, no. Okay, there we go. There we go. That was all I can see. Yeah, Ninja Bot. But the Ninja Bot is no match for Twister and his scooter of power. Twister just annihilates, and they give you no healing items, they give you nothing, so. Yeah, they're actually deadly. They're actually deadly enemies. Oh, almost forgot to show the password. Here we go. Here's the password. Just in case you want to see a password. 
No, no, no. Ah, no, no, no. There we are, good. More, more rocket board. The rocket board is only really useful for that one little section because Twister Scooter just does so much more and it does it so much better. Just rush through with Twister Scooter and you will win. See, look at that. Twister destroys just some highly trained ninja bot with just his scooter. He blocks the projectiles. He blocks everything. Twister is a master of jujitsu. He is a master of ninjutsu. He's a master of all the taekwondos and karates. He is a martial artist. We don't need Kung Fu Panda. We need Kung Fu Twister. Kung Fu Panda. Twister versus Tai Lung. Putting Poe in place. Putting photoshopping Twister's head base on the Poe from Kung Fu Panda having to fight Tai Lung. And another red rocket. Okay, apparently in this game, Gollum Jr. doesn't have a tidal wave machine, he just has a nuke. He's just gonna nuke ocean shores over a freaking arcade game. And you thought that the first that the original Beach Bandits was ridiculous in his motives. I mean, really? Just building an, a, an earthquake machine and a tidal wave machine just for the sake of of skateboarding or rollerblading. Actually, I think it was ro just pure rollerblading because really just you never really see him on a skateboard except in one co in, except in one mini game. Okay, there we are. Going around, going down. Destroy that. Yeah, take that, robot. Really, send key twister after Kibo. Jumping, jumping. And we should almost be to the boss. Yeah, just standing still! And just jump on the guy, just jump on the robot. Twister is too strong, kneel before Twister. You don't kneel before Zai. And we're already there! You losers never quit, do you? Perhaps it's time I stop playing around with you. Say goodbye to Ocean Shores! I hope you bite your snorkel! Lame-o! <laughs> it is a tidal wave machine! Then why did they show the nuke? The mushroom cloud! You go you're going down, Eric. It's payback time. Okay! Okay! Password time! Okay, there's your password. However... I'm actually going to create... I'm going to do something I have never done before. I am creating a save state. Uh, okay. Uh, what's happened? Okay, sorry, sorry. I just want to make sure... Oh crap, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, come on! No! Okay, well, I'll be cutting back. Okay, I'm back. Thankfully, after using the password that I just showed you guys, I was able to get back to this part. So, now let's, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go down, go down, go down. Yes, I love how they just take away your pucks. You have nothing. Yeah, your water gun will do nothing for him. 
go down to the lower level and you will be fine. Just, he can't hit you with his fists or his symbols or anything. So just go down, pace yourself because this is not a single faced fight. This is not a single faced fight in the slightest. You gotta face the monkey. Because for some reason, Gollum Jr's got a monkey. I'm guessing that basically the Dream Scheme people, they wouldn't work on this game unless they were allowed to use a monkey. You idiot, what have you done? I just had to beat you up myself. <laughs> Sorry, bring it on you creep. Come on, bring it on! Bring it on! Ow! Okay, pace yourself, pace yourself. Can we do it? Can we do this? Come on, one more hit. Yes! No! No, Dad! You play Uncle Uncle! With the Mayor Cry Baby, can't take losing. Oh, look, poor Widow Eric is throwing a tantrum. Aww. He's not too tough without his lame tin bot. Yeah, I'm now creating his own game! Time to play by someone else's rules, Eric! I think it's time to make a visit to Officer Shirley! Look what the tie dragged in. Junior, wait until your real father hears about this. And it's not the smiling sprite! I want to change his sprite! He's the only character that gets an actual sprite change in this game! In the GBA game! Ah, oh, big deal! He had already packed me up to military school, I just went away again! You're obviously a smart kid, but you're not going to get anywhere in life with that attitude, mister. Maybe you're right, but my old friends really didn't seem to work. I'll tell you what! I'll make an effort to be more like one. If I'm not grand for five years, I'll see you next summer. And Lori looks just so stoned in this image. It's like Otto just like, Yo, dude! You're gonna take a- You're gonna take- You're gonna go with the dude- You're gonna take a- Of my bong! <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Eric, after you return to the sand, let's all sign up for the surf camp to the team! Yes, and they're all friends, all of a sudden. Yes, all the information. Woogie! 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 <laughs> Woogie! I don't know. Okay! Besides that one hiccup, of that one hiccup of where basically just my game froze, this is actually a pretty enjoyable experience. It was pretty interesting to play through the entirety of the Game Boy Advanced version of Rocket Power Beach Bandits, as well as the console version on this channel, which was actually pretty cool, if I do say so myself, being able to compare the two. Like I said before, just the console version is far superior. If you're going to play Beach Bandits, play the console version. Trust me, the console version is a lot more fun. Sure, it's a little anticlimactic with its ending since pretty much all you're doing is holding the square button down. But really, it is very, but it is a pretty satisfying end. It's more like a victory lap than an actual final area. So really, just you get to rest a little. Okay, anyways, I am actually going, as for my next project, I guess um, the day is going to be in the description. Wait, why am I saying that now and I can say at the end? Okay, we skipped the credits and we're, we're back here. Sorry I didn't believe you, little man. Thanks for okay, we saw more game. Sorry I didn't believe you, little man. Thanks for saying the short shack. If you're up for the more challenge, I think you're okay today. I found one last prize. Okay. You said don't shoot your ass! Cool down to you, little Rocky Cuz! I heard the arcade has a fun challenge for you! Great investigate, but next time leave the law enforcing to me! The friendly robot at the arcade has a special prize for you! Okay, let's do that prize! Since God's no longer the boss, I thought we'd play by our own rules! I will destroy you now, Squishy! 
If you beat all the games this time, I got a special prize that will restore, that will blow your resistors. Good luck. Okay, uh, so play all the games again. Okay, so uh, do we just play all the games again? Because I can do that. I can play the games again, see what prize we get. Really, I'm perfectly fine with it. Grab the star. Come on. Okay, first game defeated. We got all the balloons. Okay, so it's essentially like a challenge mode. Cool, you won. Now beat the other four games and I'll give you an awesome bonus. Wow, we get the legendary blue rocket power symbol. Ooh. But yeah, I gotta do this now. Come on, we can do this. Come on. Come on, baby. We gotta get the games. I wanna see what the prize is. Maybe it's like some super scooter for Twister. Twister scooter transcends space and time. Come on. Where are the balloons will go? Where the balloons will show? Yes! Awesome! You won again! I'll beat the other three games and I'll give you an awesome bonus! Okay, we beat the first two. Let's go and beat the other three. 27? I mean, come on! Okay. Let's do this. Come on, baby! We can do this! Yeah, and I had the episode off! I'm like, oh, hey, I'm gonna end the episode off! No, we're doing this. We're getting all the stars. We're getting all this. We're, we, we're getting this ultimate prize. We're gonna see what it consists of. Yeah, I'll see what the password is after that. And you can perhaps use the password. Let's get right to the end of the game. You don't have to play the game. You can just skip right to the end of the game with the help of Zarthwam. I'm like, okay, I can't get that. 50 stars. Holy Gox, you won again! Just two games left and you'll get a rad surprise! The Annihilation of the Human Race! Eric Gollum Jr. defeated! He looks like some character out of Tron! Here's your password, just... There. Trust me, this is also for my well-being. In case I need to go back and re-record something. Okay, uh, no. Wait, I just lost! I blame the freaking file area, because you don't use the grappling hook. Okay, come on. Okay, we're up here.
Yeah, I lost a bit of time. Well, I can try again at the very least. And we will try again. Yeah, the grappling hook is just a monster of a thing to do. Okay, there we go. Come on, baby. Star. No! Stupid grappling hook game! You are the pain of my existence, grappling hook game! The final challenge! Grappling hook game! And then you slowly swing, because God forbid you are slowly swinging. Come on. Go, go over here and you will go find it. Okay, no biggie. will blow your transistors. You can do it. Okay, I'm actually a little nervous. One game. Okay, just gotta beat 22. A score 22. Okay, come on. Come on, we can do this. Gotta see what the challenge, but gotta see what the end is. Really, gotta see what that final challenge is. You gotta see what it is. make it where it's a challenge mode, essentially. I don't believe my sensors! You beat all five bonus scores! You just earned nothing! You earned bragging rights! Reggae Rocket equipped it with a rocket pack and rabbit puck launcher! Now that's rocket power! Secret level! How much more of this game shall we do? What the- Oh, uh, okay, apparently the game is playing still. We have, it's the never ending playthrough. We can play with Reggie, just Reggie kills everything. Why the, where was Reggie when we needed her? She could've been doing this. Yeah, we're just going around Ocean Shore just killing robots with a puck launcher. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, this is what I really wanted, just puck launcher. You're all seeing this for the first time, just Puck launcher. What the bro UFO? The Ape Escape UFOs? Whoa! Okay, is the your password? Well, there's your password for this level, just right here. You don't want to play the challenge mode games, you get to do that. I curious where on the map are we?
It says we're nowhere. We're just nowhere. So do we get a secret ending of sorts for beating this level, or...? Just G Eric Gollum Jr. He has freaking UFOs. He, he has UFOs. He has the sky. Okay, come on. Go. This is supposed to be fun. What next? Are we cut? What next? For completing this boys level, are we gonna get? Now you can play as Sam as he helps file these shore shacks taxes. <laughs> really, I, I would not be surprised if that was just a secret level. Just filing taxes at the shore shack with Sammy. Yes, the milk, sh the milk and Tito special milkshake batter. They're all business expenses. Okay, at least there's a ceiling. At least there's some- Whoa! I'm getting launched forward. I was getting launched forward. What the heck? It's like the momentum was carrying on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're moving along at the speed of light. Okay, is there an end to this level or I don't know? Oh god, keep me to the ground! How is this- This is just making me feel so disoriented! How- Reggie moves so fast! You hold down that trick- that's the control stick for even a second, and Reggie's just rocketing forward! With this crazy look in her eye! This is why people read the zine! Because they know that if they don't read the zine, Reggie's gonna come for their asses! Okay, is, what, what the- Okay, apparently we can spam it at a distance. I don't care if this is cheap. I will beat this game. Any means necessary. You won. Yeah, why do I feel so empty? It what? <laughs> what? <laughs> just wham bam, thank you ma'am. I'm now just back at the title screen. <laughs> Whoa! That was that was very anticlimactic. You just you beat the bonus level. We'll go back to the title screen and start the game over again. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this series. You're a great viewer, and uh, freaking, I, I'm out of it right now. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this series. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever is that is that you want. And with that, I'll see you at the start of my next Let's Play. The first episode of which will be uploaded, the date of which will be in the description for this episode. And with that, I'll see you later. Bye.